the best picture nominees for the Oscars 2022. I am not a fan of the Oscars. I don't really agree with a lot of the the films that get best picture. It's really more of a political slash marketing uh, event than anything. Uh, but on some level, I do, I mean, I enjoy like top 10 lists, right? I enjoy listening to uh, the film cast, for instance, uh, where they have three hosts. They review movies every week and every year they do a top 10 list uh, individually. So you end up getting three top 10 lists uh, each year and each one of them tends to be different. There are some crossovers here and there, but in all, I enjoy hearing what people thought were their top 10 best films. That's why I do my own. Well, I do top five, but it is what it is. So the Oscars in some way are like a top 10 list by this industry, this uh, whatever. So let's go over them. And I, I'd like to see all of them. That's the thing. It's like I'd like to, this, the movies that are in different people's top 10 lists that they consider to be the best movies i want to see like a lot of them i just haven't seen some i don't agree with uh but starting off it's dune which i enjoyed dune and almost made my top five list but uh it really felt like a part one so i couldn't it just felt incomplete maybe after the second one has a little bit more of a conclusion to the film itself or, or to the story itself. Uh, I will have that on my top list as, you know, moving off, running off the momentum of the first one. Uh, but I could see Dune. It, it is a beautiful film. I mean, it's, it's one of the most epic films to come out in a long time. Uh, so I definitely enjoyed it quite a bit. So I, I'm not like surprised uh, that it's on the list. So Dune is number one. Uh, and I, not necessarily number one. Belfast, which is a movie I reviewed and I really enjoyed. And it's a movie I am not, I've not heard anybody talk about. I have heard zero people have it on their list. I have heard zero people have, th that have watched it or talk about it. And I thought it was amazing. Uh, I don't know. I think it was on my top five list. I don't know exactly where on my top five it was. Uh, but the cinematography is amazing. The story is interesting. It's got a nice balance of, like, drama, and there's, like, comedic moments. Uh, it's a story about, like, a, a crazy time in in uh, in Belfast. Uh, and it's – I really enjoyed it. There's a lot of heart in this movie uh, with great black-and-white cinematography. Uh, I, I really did enjoy it. So Belfast, it's one that I wish more people would see and talk about. Uh, so I'm glad to see this getting nominated. I would love, out of so far, out of out of Dune and Belfast, I'd love to see Belfast get get Best Picture. Uh, Coda have not watched it yet. Uh, about a family that uh, uses sign language that has that's hearing impaired. Uh, I've not watched it. I would like to watch it. I almost reviewed it. Didn't for whatever reason. Uh, didn't get around to watching it, but since it's nominated, and I think it's been, I think I've seen it on other top ten lists. It's just one I need to, I need to watch. So look out, there might be a review for that coming soon. Uh, of course, don't look up. I can't see. Don't I? Despite the fact, don't look up was my number two film, almost my number one of last year. Inside by Bo Burnham, my number one movie of last year. But don't look up. I thought was amazing and it's it blows my mind how some people don't like it like there's some people that feel I I mean because of comedy comedy is so subjective so I can understand why some people just don't latch onto the comedy I thought it was amazing most of the people that don't like it are people are people that are more conservative uh, and are kind of the people that are saying don't look up uh, but there's people that are on the other side of the the political spectrum that uh, just didn't get the or didn't like the the comedy. I particularly liked it quite a bit. Don't look up. Uh, but I can't see that in any reality. I can't see don't look up being nominated at all. 
Uh, Drive My Car, I've heard, is amazing. I don't really know what it's about. I've kind of avoided it because I know it's good. It just hasn't been available to watch. Uh, so I, I definitely want to watch that. King Richard, I thought was a great movie. Don't think it's Academy Award. I don't think it's like a best movie nomination. I think Will Smith is the worst part of that film by far, and yet he is nominated for Best Actor, which blows my mind. I mean, it's clearly an Oscar bait movie for Will Smith, but I didn't. I felt like he was doing much more of an impersonation than he was uh, a performance. Uh, would have would have preferred. There's a lot of other black actors I think that could have done that character far better uh, than Will Smith, but. Uh, I, I like Will Smith in more charismatic type roles like, you know, Independence Day or Men in Black or uh, Bad Boys. Like, just give me charismatic Will Smith. I'm good. He, he can all day, all day. But when he tries to be a serious actor, you can tell he's trying. He's like really like he's really putting in an effort to try. Uh, but it's very noticeable to me that he's trying instead of just being. Uh, so I don't get that at all. Licorice Pizza, I've heard mixed reviews of it. I'm a fan of Paul Thomas Anderson, obviously. I'm going to watch it. I did a top five of his movies uh, fairly recently, a few months ago. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see how this stacks up. I haven't really looked into it much. You know, I try to stay away from trailers and such for movies that I want to watch because uh, I don't want anything to be spoiled, so... Uh, looking forward to that whenever I get the opportunity. Uh, Nightmare Alley. Uh, watched my review of it last week. Uh, I liked the original better. I think Bradley Cooper is a horrible actor. Uh, I think the writing of Nightmare Alley is not very good. Visually, it's amazing. Visually, it's 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 gorgeous. There, it it looks like a Oscar caliber film. Let's put it that way. It looks like it. Uh, but there, there are some major issues I have with it, uh, either, both from performance and writing-wise, that uh, there's no way that would have been on my list anywhere. West Side Story, have not seen. Man, getting so much static. I apologize for that. It's been very staticky in the studio late recently. Uh, West Side Story, uh, remake. Steven Spielberg. I've heard it's good. Um, but whatever. I don't... Maybe that would get nominated. I mean, or maybe win, because it's Spielberg. Spielberg's won a bunch of times. Uh, and it's got, got good reviews. Uh, but it's, you know, it's a remake. It's a remake of... You know the is the original West Side Story, but also it's it's almost a retelling. From what I've heard, it's like a retelling of Romeo and Juliet. Uh, and then, last but not least, Power of the Dog, which you know, I another movie that I enjoyed, but don't think it's Oscar caliber. I think it's a really good movie. I don't think um, performance wise, you know, just the 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 people that have been nominated for this uh which i'm blanking on everybody's name so i'm not even try it i don't agree with it's very similar to the will smith thing where it's like ah, i don't know i didn't really like their performances uh i thought it was a good movie definitely like an independent movie that you know just being nominated should i would imagine be i could see on some level it being winning just because it has kind of that uh, you know it has that thing, that kind of cachet to get the win because technically it's it's good. Top to bottom, there's nothing wrong with this movie. A little slow, maybe. The story, not not as interesting. Like, I don't feel like I was on a ride. Like, you can compare it to a movie that won Best Picture, like Parasite. You're on a ride. There are some interesting characters. There's a lot of interesting things that happen inside of that movie. Power of the Dog is a very simple story some interesting characters that you don't really get to know that much about. Um, and, you know, it is what it is. So that's, that's nominations. Out of this list, I would... I mean, I can't... Obviously, I can't, I, I can't speak on the movies I haven't seen, but out of the ones I have seen, 
Uh, I would love to see Belfast win. I would love to see Belfast win. Even though I liked Don't Look Up more, I think Belfast is more of a, you know, it's it, it's it feels more like an Oscar-y movie. Feels like it. So anyway, that's my thoughts on the the best picture nominations. Uh, maybe I'll go through. Maybe I'll do like just an entire Oscar special swipe up when the time comes and just go over the different categories. I might do that. We'll see. We'll see. Because it would be. I would. One, I would like to watch these movies that are nominated so I can have an actual opinion on them. Uh, and, you know, I, I like to be able to talk shit with an educated mind. There's so many people that like to talk shit but then have, like, very little to no experience uh, consuming the thing they're talking shit about. Uh, I prefer to like if I'm if I'm going if I'm watching a movie and I'm going to and I don't like this movie and I'm talking shit. I'm going to make sure I watch the entire movie and I'm going to make sure I'm writing notes of all the things I want to talk shit about. Like I want to be a well-informed shit talker. 